Hi, I'm Andy Nokumalo, and you're watching Entrepreneur Stay Alive, brought to you by I'm an Entrepreneur. There is no doubt that small businesses are finding it very difficult to trade in this environment. South Africa is trying to contain the spread of COVID-19, that's the disease caused by the coronavirus, but some way, somehow, we all have to find a way to survive, including small businesses. Now, my good friends at FNB have come up with measures that are aimed to support small business owners and their businesses on how they can see through this difficult time for as long as we all hope it will last. Joining me on the line is my good man, Jesse Weinberg. He's the executive head of FNB's SME customer segment to tell us more about the measures that are available to the small businesses. Jesse, always a pleasure, sir. How are you? And how has it been trying to come up with all of these uh, measures in a relatively short period of time? I think the easiest way to describe it is it's been quite chaotic. Um, I think we are definitely trying our best to get to grips with all the uncertainty. Um, obviously, as much as possible, just making sure that we, we there's, there's so many things to focus on that we're trying to just make sure that we focus on, on the right things that are really going to help our customers. Let's talk about those right things. You've come up with a plan that's uh, going between the 1st of April and the 30th of June. Uh, these initiatives are for this three-month period. I guess you have to pick a period. We all hope it doesn't last longer than that. Let's go straight into the first one. The one that caught my attention, which I would imagine is the biggest concern for entrepreneurs, is the cash flow relief, um, potentially for businesses that are not suppliers of what we are calling essential services. How does one go about applying for this? And how do you decide as a bank who to approve it for and who not to approve it for? especially because I would imagine there's an, event, an avalanche of applications for this. What the cash flow relief is essentially is to give businesses which have got lending with us, so in the form of loans, an ability to opt in and to contact us to see if we can make arrangements to essentially push out or delay their repayments of these loans that they might have with us. So it gives them this three-month period that we've announced from April through to June where they wouldn't have to make payments for these loans. But it's not to say that they don't have to make payments at all. They do need to then make these payments at a later point. So essentially what we're doing is we're delaying it and giving them a window period in which they can have some relief from repayments of the loans. And this obviously then will be able to free up some cash flow. Uh, essentially for businesses which are, are not trading at the moment or they are encountering significant drops in, in cash flow. So this is cash flow relief that we talk to where if you do have lending with us, uh, you can reach out to us, you can contact us. And we will essentially then be able to see how we can uh, provide a window period of these three months to give you a relief of not needing to repay these loans. And what we do is we, we essentially push those out and we delay them. We add them onto the loan so that essentially you can then uh, repay them at a later point. So while you're on interest rates, Jesse, I saw a line that said a preferential interest rate will apply to the COVID-19 relief interventions given. Does this necessarily mean all the funding that will be provided at this time is going to be at lower interest rates than potentially I currently have if I am indeed a borrower from FNB. For business customers whose financial stability has been directly affected by the, the impact of COVID-19 and the outbreak, um, and who have also had sound banking behavior with us in the period before this, um, and that are in good standing with us from a credit point of view, we will be looking at making certain measures obviously available to them. And one of these uh, would, would absolutely be a potential preferential interest rate then um, specifically for those businesses so that in this holiday period, so to speak, where we are giving them this three months ability to, uh, to have some cash flow relief from repaying their, their loans, uh, we'd look at then a preferential interest rates in that period for them. Then there's something that's also come through, which you also included in here around credit insurance. You're offered assistance with processing credit insurance claims. Funny enough, maybe it's only because we've never dealt with something this hectic. Not many of us understand how credit insurance actually works. So, so how does it work? And what do I apply for first? Do I ask for relief from FNB on my loans or do I apply for credit insurance first? So there are different types of credit insurance. And what we've obviously committed from our side is to help customers to understand what their current policies may say. So it is very important for customers to understand what policies they do have in place. Um, they do differ according to the individual policies versus having a business policy when it comes to credit insurance. So what's very important is to, to assess their policies, reach out to us, very happy to help to make an understanding of it. What, what's important is that there are, there's credit life insurance policy in the personal space, 
which could potentially cover things like obviously death, illness, unemployment, retrenchment, and, and, and obviously specific to the policy. On the business side, it's important to understand if the business has taken out the form of, of let's call it business interruption insurance, um, and they, these can be very specific to the insurer. Um, but on the credit insurance side, um, it's also important to understand whether the insurance policy, I guess, sits with the business owners or the business or the person in their, in their personal um, capacity. So as you can hear, there are quite a few elements to it, and it is important to get to grips with what the policies are saying. And absolutely, if there's any doubts, to reach out to FNB to reach clarity on that, on your particular policies that you might have in place. Um, but hopefully that if there is the right policy or that the policy does cover it, um, that businesses or the business owners can get some sort of um, claim potentially from their insurance policy. You go quite lent to talk about you paying your supplies early. Thank you for that. We small businesses love being paid early. Much appreciated. I see the, the, the first rand group has uh, processed over a billion rand in the past few days. Speed point. I really enjoyed this point because I'm one of those customers. I have an F&B speed point. Um, there's a rental every month. Uh, there's a minimum charge. Obviously, if I'm not working, you know, I don't have the money to pay for that. I see you've relaxed that as well. Can you just explain how that would work? So it's focused specifically at obviously smaller businesses. Um, but the reality is that it's exactly that, is that customers of ours need to contact us if they do have a speed point. And we'll be then looking to make certain waivers on their speed point devices. So for example, the minimum monthly merchant fee, um, which if you're not using the device will come off. And obviously also the rental device fee. Um, and this is really focused on industries or businesses which are distressed at this point because of COVID. A product that not many people know about is FNB Connect. And when the announcement said one gig of free data, people started calling me up and like, Andile, apparently we can get free data. Please explain how it works and how does one access this? Yeah, we decided to reach out from a Connect point of view and any of our FNB Connect customers that are with us, we are auto allocating them one gigabyte of data for the month of April. Uh, there's nothing required on the customer side. This will be awarded, obviously, straight to their, to their SIM card or to their account. So this is automatic for business customers of FNB Small Business. What else can we look forward to, Jesse, as we wrap up our, our chat in the next few weeks? Um, of course, you can't disclose until it's actually formal. But, you know, your sense of dealing with small businesses in this time, you know, do, do, what more do you believe we can all do, not just banks, to try and support these businesses through this, this game-changing time, frankly. So what you would have seen then we would have launched is the SME assessment tool or the functionality. And uh, essentially what this is to, to do is to encourage our SMEs out there to log onto our app or into online banking, complete the survey so that they can actually give us an indication as to what their current situation is, what they're experiencing, what problems they're going through. Um, we're also able to then channel some of the first funding, alternative funding, from our partners. So we've, we've linked up with the SAFT, the South African Future Trust, and that's the, the trust set up by the Oppenheimers to channel through funding directly through to employees of SMEs, which may be um, under normal circumstances un, you know, unable to pay their employees. So this is an exciting uh, set of alternative funding which is coming through and hopefully one of many, but this is accessed by filling in this SME assessment via our Apple online banking. Uh, so we encourage a lot of SMEs obviously out there that are banked with us to, to log onto our app to online banking and complete that assessment so that we can get as soon as possible a snapshot of what's happening with our customers and hopefully channel help towards them in the fastest way. Great stuff. Thank you so much for that, Jesse. So there you have it, guys. Go to the FNB app. That is the best place for you to go and apply. Everything is electronic. Um, the instructions are very, very clear. In fact, there's a specific icon on the landing page that's got COVID-19 in there. You can get all the information that you want and you can apply for the various interventions the bank has come up with. So there you go. Good luck out there. Cheers now.